guys, Steve here, and I'm going to play a game of Planetary Annihilation and talk you through it. So if you haven't played it before, you get the basics of what to do. I'll be playing against a computer on normal difficulty, but to be honest, I find it bloody hard. To the top left, you can see it's a three planet system. The mouse cursor hasn't recorded for some reason, but you'll still be able to see what's going on. At the beginning, you're given three starting locations to pick from. I usually start with one with lots of eye nodes and open space. I don't start in the water because then you can get attacked by land and sea. Plus the land fabricators can't get to the metal nodes which is a pain later on. So I'm going to go for this one. Like Supreme Commander, there's a formula to construct your buildings in the right order. I'm a bit of a noob but I start off with two metal extractors and then two power generators and build a vehicle factory so I can build more fabricators. Then I queue up the rest of the metal extractors. Hold shift to queue buildings and use the arrow keys to rotate the world. If you notice the shadow on the trees is slowly changing direction. That's because if I zoom out I'm in a small solar system. And there are the other planets I can get to. On this game I'm going to aim to build a base on that red planet. Then I'm going to send that grey planetoid into the enemy's base to wipe them all out. At the top of the screen the green bar is metal and the orange bar is a power. The graphics are cartoony stylized instead of going for a more realistic look. When the vehicle factory is finished, I've set it to build seven fabricators. We always get the first one to assist the factory in making them quicker. I'll send that one over there to build more metal extractors. And stick a few anti-air down so their planes can't destroy them. The first resource you'll run out of is energy, so I'll build a lot more there. And I'll send the rest of the guys to assist him. I'll skip forward a bit while they're building them. Okay, on the left I'm building three energy storage, then three metal storage. The energy plants are nearly built, so next I'm going to build an advanced vehicle factory. That will allow you to build Tech 3 stuff.
I'm assembling most of the guys to help construct that. Then I'm going to build some anti-air to stop their planes attacking. Okay, now that's built, I'm going to create some advanced fabricators. The enemy ground forces have started to attack, but I had already built a small group of tanks to defend. I didn't build any defense towers because I didn't know which direction would be coming from and I didn't want to waste the resources on them. I'll send half the fabricators to pump out tanks faster. And send those tanks in to stop damage to my base. Next I will upgrade my metal extractors. Only the tier 3 fabricators can do that. So I'll send my tier 2s to assist him. My tanks have easily destroyed theirs. I just upgrade the rest of the metal extractors. Now I know which direction they're going to attack from. I'm going to build some advanced laser towers as my main defence. Then I'll build an advanced radar to see where the enemy troops are coming from. I've started to get enough metal coming in, so I'll build some more T3 fabricators. Their air units have started to attack those extractors. I expect to lose them, but just give me the metal boost at the start of the game. Now I've got the turrets in the top right. The enemy will start attacking me in the undefended areas. So I need to start building turrets along the top to stop them getting in. Oops, forgot to get the engineers to assist building that tower. Tanks have destroyed his, and it's time to build defences on the left before he sends more waves. I'm going to get my tier 2 fabricators to build medium range artillery. The top of the base is pretty well defended, now I'm just going to shore up the bottom. Put some flat cannons and some large towers. I'll use that ravine as a natural barrier. If it do attack me from the south, it won't be with any significant force. So these defences will give me time to build more if I need reinforcing. Then more flat cannons to stop their bombers attacking. Now at stage now I want to build big stuff, but before I do I need to build lots of advanced power stations. It's going to take a while to build those, so I'll skip forward. Okay, they're done and I've got plenty of resources. 
I'll just redo that one. Then build two advanced extractors on those two spots, now it's defended. They've started attacking me on the bottom right, so I need to show up those defences. Now that I've got enough resources, first thing I need to build is an anti-nuke. Make sure my base is covered, because it won't be long before he tries to nuke me. The top and bottom of my base is pretty well defended, and I've got plenty of resources. I'm going to create a few more fabricators to help build the anti-nuke. Uh, his gunship's just out of range of my flat cannon. I need to start building side defences. I'll put a flat cannon there. I'll skip forward a bit until I've built the Antonuke. Okay, now that's done. Time to build the orbital launcher. And as the name suggests, it lets you launch things into orbit. It's going to start attacking me from afar soon, so I'm going to build some long range missile launchers. Four of those are a bit too many. They cost loads of resources, so I'll probably knock that down to one later. I'll place more around the base to make sure every side's covered. That thing flying overhead is their orbital fighter. If I launch something into orbit like a spy satellite, that would shoot it down. The third missile in the Antonyx nearly done, so I'll skip forward to the orbital launcher. I've started building orbital fighters of my own, because you want air supremacy. And to make sure I clear the skies above my base, I'm going to build an umbrella ion platform. That sheets the orbital enemies above it. I'll put a few down because I want to move into orbit now. I'll set those orbital fighters to patrol over my base. The base is pretty well defended now, the only thing it can get in is about long range artillery. So it's time to go to the other planets. And to do that, I need an orbital lander. I'm going to skip forward until the queue's finished building. Send those orbital fighters on patrol. So you click on your orbital lander, and on the right hand side is a white box with a blue arrow in the centre. That's for you to select which unit you want to pick up. Or you could just right click the unit and the orbital will go down to pick it up. It's picked up the fabricator, so I'm going to zoom out. You can also click the planet menu in the top right. Then zoom in and find the area you want to land. On the right hand side, click the orbiter's unload button and select where you want to land. And then the orbiter will go into a higher orbit and then set a trajectory for that planet. It's going to take a while to get there as it's got to slingshot around the sun, so I'll skip forward a bit. Ok I've landed and I'm pretty sure no one else is there, so the first thing I'm going to do is set up a teleporter. 
and I'm going to need another teleporter to connect to, so I'm going to build that back at the base. As you notice in the top left, my base is starting to get destroyed by long range artillery. I could send an army to find and kill it, but I'm not too bothered about it at the moment because I'm about to evacuate the planet. However, what I will do is get my orbital transport to pick up my commander because I don't want him to get killed by a lucky shot. Ah, oh, I found one of those huge artilleries that are destroying my base. So I'm going to select my orbital laser platform which took a hell of a lot of resources and time to build. And destroy his artillery. I'm going to set it to patrol this area, so hopefully it'll go around destroying all their units. Now that that's done with, I'm going to make sure my commander is safe by sending him to Viva Planet. I'll land him next to the transporter. And there's his trajectory to the planet. And he's on his way. Just in time because he's sending his orbital laser platform to attack. Now to link the teleports together, you right click it. The cursor will change to a yellow link icon, which you can't see here. Then zoom out. Find the other teleporter you want to link to. Then right click it and both teleporters will be linked together. I'm now going to select all the fabrication units and take them to the new planet. Just mouse over them all and then right click the teleporter. He's got some huge armies coming in, but the base should stay alive until I build on the second planet. There's all my little guys coming out of the teleporter. I'll just split them up. And the first thing I'll get them to do is build a lot of metal extractors. That should be enough, I'll fill the rest of the planet once I've got a base started. Then I'll get the other group to build a lot of power plants. And get my tier 2s to assist them. Next I'm going to build an advanced spy satellite to have a look at their base. Hmm, they've started to get through my south defences. Normally I would have attacked them and not let it get to this stage, but on this game I'm putting all my efforts together to build on another planet. I'll send my spy satellite over to have a look at him, and skip forward. As you can see he's been quite a busy lad. It's caused quite a lot of damage to my base, but I shall have my revenge. He's destroyed most of my metal extractors, so I'm running a bit short on that at the moment. And there goes my advanced vehicle factory. If this was my only base, I'd be getting quite worried around about now. But it's not, and this should keep him occupied until I've completed my new base. My main power plants are finished. Now I'm going to build some metal and energy storage. I 
I'll very go off and do that. I'm going to get this fabricator to build a deep space radar to make sure he doesn't attack me. But what he doesn't know is that I've sent a fabricator over there to build another teleporter. Those guys nearly finished the metal storage. In one and a half, I'll send them through the teleporter. Okay, now to build my main weapon. I don't know if he's landed on the other side of his moon, so just to be safe, I'm going to build a tower and flat cannon. then queue up the Haley Delta engines. They need to move the planet. You only need three, but I like things nice and symmetrical. Okay, let's see if I've got any base back at the starting planet. And no, I don't. He's completely wiped me out except for the orbitals. So back to the small moon. I sent some fabricators through to help with the engine construction. That's going to take ages so I need to build a lot more. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to build an advanced radar, just to see if he is on this planet. I broke the queue to do that, so I placed two more engines. Now back at my main base, I've just built a lot more fabricators. And I send them through to help with the engine. One thing I've not mentioned is only air vehicles can build advanced air factories, only robots can build advanced bot factories, and of course only ground vehicles can build advanced vehicle factories. Okay, my little team of fabricators have arrived. Time to send them to work. It's going to take a while to build the other two, so I'm going to skip forward a bit. I seem to be starting to lag. I bet the computer built a ridiculous amount of units back at the starting planet. No matter, they'll be all wiped out soon. I'll send all my little fellas back through the teleporter. Okay, now I go to the planet menu in the top right. On the bottom planet you see three green engine boxes. Click the send to annihilate button. Then the planets with a circle next to them are your possible targets. I click my original starting planet. When I find where their main base is and select it as a target, click confirm destination and away you go. The planetoid has to do a trajectory to its target as well. I'll zoom in so you can see the engines working. There was one little fabricator that got left behind. I'll send him through as well. All we've got to do now is sit back and enjoy the ride.
He's wandering off. I think he's got a death wish. Come on, little fella. I'm about to shut the teleporter down. Is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Yes, he is. I want to leave him there to get splattered. We're halfway there. Around the sun we go. The moon should really start heating up and smoking at that point. A planet this size travelling so fast should cause an extinction level event, wiping everything out on the target planet. Almost there. And here we go. What the hell? It missed. That's either bugged or gone into a mini orbit. I don't know what's going on there. I'll try and set it to destroy the planet again. Well that's great, I missed the impact. But luckily, we can see a replay. No wonder I was lagging, we built quite a lot of units. And there it goes. Bang, right in the kisser. I don't think they're going to recover from that. Let's see it again. I win. Well that's it guys, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Goodbye.